short, wobbly kind of walking mess with hair resembling lioness, often likes to digress onto some of the lamest paths. Sometimes likes to dress in and most times likes to address what society is most impressed by. See it in the clothes she wears, the accents she flares, the money she's wasting and the love that she's faking. Daddy said she'd be a mixed Sinotai Basque Spanish beauty. Wordy bricks of being thrown at her shelf, building labyrinth understanding of herself. You English, George asked. Her hair he clasped. You look slightly kind of chink. That hair does have a Russian kink. Your eyes look like they don't really think. All they seem to do is blink. You not really Thai, said some Thai. Ang bit mai, wait no lie, the others cry. You kind of sound Australian though, New Zealand, West Coast American, yo. No, lie, Sino, Thai, Chinese, Siamese, more chosa than Chavez, bad chance you say ballet. Looks like Olga's soul body though, and where did that accent grow? Told she's all and nothing, all thought she was bluffing, got her huffing and puffing over herself. So, there are many parts to she and we. Far outside what eyes can see, heritage backed by infinity minds, courting divinity pearls. Beseech from hidden worlds, queens before they were born girls. When people greet this girl they see, they wonder where the hell was she made. The spade was used to lift dirt over her ancestry, her true identity. And so now it takes on many forms and on the day that she was born again that day was one of many times the cat that had lives of nine, each life a big piece of the juicy pie that makes the whole strong enough to never die the reincarnation of thousands of generations that span back to ancient civilizations we are but still that's history she is every single one of them yet never one of them a girl who thought she was lost until she realized she was the boss of who she decides to be identity not always the cross you wear the skin you share the eyes that glare the fairness of your hair the size of your bare chest or little waist the freckles that do dot your face the political party you do or don't embrace the culture that you had to chase the country you were displaced from the disgrace burning in your mind when you realize you were wasting your time getting upset over the labels people stuck onto your skin akin to the rotten food society force fed into your mouth and gave you reasons for self-doubt and removed you so far out of your soul when really that's what it's all about she could choose every single one of them but she did choose none of them but still took on every single one of them headstrong still fighting to belong in a world that can't quite recognize true souls living in disguise